Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sanya of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Ember.js. So if you just head over to the Ember.js.com website, um, the first thing you'll see is this screen. So get just click on this link here that says download the starter kit. And then once that's downloaded, just get head over to where that file was downloaded and open it. And inside of it, this is the contents of it. And we'll just dive deep inside the zip file and copy all the stuff inside of it. Now back to where we want our project to live. As you can see, it's empty right now. So I'll just paste the contents of the zip that we downloaded inside of it. And now I've just created a PH, quick PHP server that just points to the that where those files live and they are inside of localhost 4000. So I'll just open that quickly in a browser and this is what you see. So we'll just quickly see what we see in the text editor when we open those files. So here we are in PHP Storm, a text editor made by JetBrains. And these are, as you can see, these are the exact files that we downloaded from the Ember.js website using the Ember starter kit. So there is an index file and this is, if you've done any Ember work before, um, I'm not assuming you do, but if you have, then you'll be very familiar with this. We just have a simple outlet and then we have a, an each statement looping over the default model. So I'll just, I'm not going to dive deep into the code here, but I'll just show you the different folders and what they mean. So this test file um, is where your tests live and um, the JS is where your JavaScript files are. There's a lips folder, which um, the Ember starter kit comes with everything you need to get up and running with Ember except Ember data, which you have to get separately. So we'll dive into that in a later video because as of now, we're not going to be dealing with Ember data. So this, there's another CSS um, folder there, which just has normalize and your regular style sheet. And um, that's about it. And you have one more file in the JS folder, which is just your app file. And it just instantiates your application using this and just um, has an empty router function here, which probably does nothing. Um, and it just returns a model for you on the default application router. As you can see, just a array here. So that's it for this video. Um, just to recap what we did, we went to the Ember.js website and we just downloaded a starter kit, came to our um, project root folder and we, we pasted over the contents of the starter kit zip inside of where we want our project to live. And as you can see, these are all the files that come with the starter kit. And as I said before, it doesn't come with Ember data, which we will get separately in a later video. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this and I hope it was useful. So stay tuned for more Ember.js stuff coming. I'll just try to keep the videos as short as possible just to keep everyone's attention. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video. Bye!